Today we'll do a demonstration of setting up FTP on your PC as well as programming the FTP client settings in your data acquisition device. The first thing you want to do when you set up an FTP server on your PC is to create a folder on your desktop. To create the folder, right click your mouse, go to New and Folder. This is the folder where all of the data files will be dropped into. You can rename this folder whatever you would like. Today we will call this FTP test. Okay, once this is done, now you can go ahead and set up your FTP server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and this is the protocol used to transfer data files across a network. There are many FTP servers available. Some are open source and some must be purchased. Today we will be using FileZilla FTP server. This server is open source and anyone can use this. The ones we have used in the past are FileZilla, XLite FTP, Bulletproof, and Windows FTP. To obtain FileZilla FTP server, you simply just Google FileZilla server. And right here is your FileZilla server download. Again, this is an open source download. It's free of charge and anyone can use it. Once you have downloaded your FileZilla server, go to your desktop icon and click OK to open up your server interface. This is where you will set up your user account settings. To do so, click on the single face icon. This will open up your user account settings page. To set up a new user, click Add, and then name the user. Today we will call this MW100. Once you have added a new user, under Account Settings, click Enable Account and Password. You must also give the user a password. Today the password will be FTP Test. Next, you will have to create a directory. So click on Shared Folders, go to your Directories, Add, and this will be the directory that we placed on our desktop earlier named FTP Test. So we just find FTP Test, select, and now you have added your directory. Once this is complete, Make sure under Files and Directories that everything is checked. You want to be able to read, write, delin, and delete, and depend the files. When finished, click OK. You will receive a message from FileZilla saying done sending account settings. And you have completed setting up the FTP server on your PC. Now that we have set up our FTP server, the next thing we will do is program an MW100 data acquisition unit with the FTP client settings. This will enable the unit to send data files across FTP and place in the directory that we created on our PC. The first thing we want to do is connect to the MW100 web browser. Let's open up a blank web page and in the IP address field, or the search field, type in the IP address of the MW100. Now we are connected to the unit. So the first thing you want to do is make sure and stop any measurement, math, or recording that is happening.
Once this has been completed, you want to go to your communication settings. Now go to FTP client settings. This is where you will put in the client settings for the FTP server. First make sure FTP client function is enabled. Shift time is the amount of time it takes once the data file is closed out to send that data file through FTP. We will leave this at zero minutes. So it will immediately be sent through FTP when the data file is closed. You can select two FTP servers, server one and server two. Server one would be your primary and server two would be your secondary. For any reason, if the unit cannot connect to server one, then it will try and connect to server two. Since we only have one FTP server set up, we will only connect to FTP server one. The server name is going to be the IP address of the PC that the server is up and running on. IP address for our PC is 192.168.10.1. Port number 21 is default port used for FTP file transfer. We will leave this at port 21. The username will be the username that was set up on the FTP server. The username we used for our FTP server was MW100. The password is also the same as the password that we set on our FTP server. The password was MW100 test. Please be aware that your users settings and your password settings are case sensitive. So if you use uppercase on the server side, then you must use uppercase when setting it up in the FTP client settings. If you use lowercase on the server side, you must use lowercase when you set up in the FTP client settings. The directory is the path that the data file takes to make it to the PC. If you only have one directory set up, then you can leave this blank because the FTP client will take the only path it can. PASV mode is if you are trying to transfer the data file across FTP behind a firewall. You can choose whether to enable or disable this setting. We have no firewalls running on our PC currently, so we will leave this disabled. When finished, click Apply. Now that we have our FTP client settings programmed, we can go back to our top screen, Start Back Measurement, Start Back Math, and Start Back Recording. Now we will set up our FTP client settings in our DX2000 data acquisition station. To do this, you would press the menu key, then go to basic setting mode or hold down the function key for three seconds. Under the menu tab, go to communication ethernet right arrow key and down arrow key to FTP client and press enter. The two options are FTP transfer file and FTP connection. We will look at the FTP transfer file first. Press enter. This lists the type of data files you want to send across FTP your display and event data files, your report data files, snapshot files, and your configuration setting files. For now, we will only do our display and event data files. So we will turn those on. 
Next, we will look at our transfer wait time. This is how long it takes for the recorder to send the file through FTP after the data file has been closed out. By leaving at zero, then the data file will be sent immediately once closed. If we're done making our settings, we press enter and then escape. Now we go to our FTP connection settings and press enter. You can also connect to a primary server and a secondary server. We only have one server set up, so we will choose primary. If we had two, we could choose both primary and secondary. But for this demonstration, we will only connect to the primary server. FTP server name, if you remember, will be the IP address that the FTP server is loaded and running on. IP address for our PC is 192.168.10.100. Default port for FTP is 21. We will leave it at the default. Login name is the username that was set up on the FTP server. This will be DX2000. And password is the same password that we used on the server. This will be DX2000 test. PASV mode is if you are transferring the data file behind a firewall. We have no firewalls running on our PC, so we will leave this off. And the initial path is the path that the data file will take when being sent through FTP. If there is only one directory, then we can leave initial path blank. Once finished, press enter to save your settings. Press escape until you see, do you want to store and make the new settings take effect? Select yes, and then press enter.